I think we can begin. Let's see what happens. Angie. Do you want your name or Kek W retreat? Also, okay. I made something horrible this morning. Let's see. I remove this for now. Um, I can put it here for now. There we go. Anya's gunner. I mean, they're both borders. They're not really gunning anything. Gunning people down with their own hands. There we go. Might take a bit for it to update. But we'll see later. They save. I should be there. Other Lenius. I made a mistake. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's begin. Uh, not Nebula, feels bad. Start here. Crap is better than possible crew. Okay. Let's not sell the Lanius because we misclick. Can I get fights, please? Please. This is fine. Why didn't they repair? They killed the engine. It was so slow. I'm firing the block anyway. Unlock. Never mind, very lucky. Um Okay, this is fine. Easy debate. 
Wait, what? Did they survive? Huh, okay. A store with a king. I mean, we're selling respirators, but we can't afford anything anyway. Maybe I should have skipped shields. So let's wait for oxygen. I should have uh, put oxygen online. Uh, so let's remove weapons, and I didn't. Let's get to 60. Is 60 enough? It should be enough. Maybe 70. Also, if you guys have ideas for specific challenge runs, let me know. I can put them on the list for next week. I mean, you, you could redeem those anyway, but I don't know. We can have a good list with good challenges. I have to do like this. There we go. Then do this. Do this, this, and this. Poor Angie. That's 50 scrap, Jesus Christ. I'm listening to this so far. I mean, this is either the best ship in the game or the second best. So it's kind of normal with Lanius V. Test. What are you testing? So I think I want to refresh this. Hey, Crow. I think my abomination is ready. I think I'm cloning about the Lanius here. Also, I could have trained and I forgot. I can show you guys my abomination. There we go. It took so long to make. It's a tier 2 emote for now, just because I don't have space on the normal ones. I have another ready, but that's gonna be a surprise.
This is horrible, by the way. Intended audience is not yet in. I mean, no one should be the intended audience for that. We, I, we can play Minesweeper, I guess. Like, doing this with Lanius B feels so pointless. But I really want to do everything I possibly can to increase my odds of not dying, even with the good ships. At least I have no excuses if I die. Probably why did they have a level 2 engine and didn't have a weapon? I mean, technically they did, I just forgot that I, I wanted to train and I killed the guy. Like, it's almost as bad. Like, we did the training with NG, NGB against a single heavy laser, a single basic laser having only the NG. That was very bad. Not as bad as training glaive with the stealth B. But I don't know, I think training glaive the run helped so much. Because we got so many clocking ships after training the glaive. And at least I called fire before they clocked. Except for that uh, Lanius bomber. I still can't believe that it never happened to me. That I... Um, I was timing everything so that I could swipe before they clocked again. But we got the Lanius border, and then a mind controlling pilot, and uh, the Lanius went through weapons to reach the mind control guy, and for like that half second that he was going through weapons, the timing was not good enough to so that they could uh, fire the glaive during like before their second clock. That was so bad. I wasn't expecting that. Ooh. But yeah, doing this training with Lanius B seems very unnecessary. I'm okay with it. We can even play Minesweeper in the meantime, it's fine. Lanius B, yeah. Maybe we start with a good ship today as well, and then we roll the bad ones. Yeah, training with Lanius V feels bad. Against a single basic laser as well. That is already demolished my previous high score. I think in my old profile I had a very good score with this ship. Still on the 6k though. I never I never reached 7k unless I was actually going for it. Like if you play normally, I think you'll never get 7k. Seventy-seven almost, Jesus. Yeah, I never had that before. Like, the best I got was... Okay. Like, that stealth, stealth A run where I got 70... Almost to 74. It was so good because we got the... Uh, the distraction buoy very early as well. But then we got a Mantis sector and two NG sectors. I'm surprised I got 73 in the run. Otherwise, that run had the potential to be insane. Eighty-five, seventy-one, Lanius V. Yeah, I don't know. I assume without dive farming, just uh, eventually taking a few dives to for normal beacons. Mm -hmm. 
and took surrenders. Maybe we can try another, um, like, next Thursday, in what, five days, we can go for the, I want to do the anniversary stream, and maybe we can go for the challenge runs and we can try again uh, for a high score one, see what happens. Hey, is there an Angel's Sambler? scrap and spent. I mean, that was better than a multiverse run. Maybe if multiverse was fine all along. I misclicked. I was supposed to put a flag there. I'm too impatient for Minesweeper, I just want to click. I have a clicking addiction. Three civilians, luck civilian, Jesus, yeah. The luck sector uh, with scanner as well can be so insane. I had a few bad runs for scrap recently, and then I got a luck sector's late game, and I got probably more there than in the, in the rest of the run. Don't misclick, please. How's the training? Okay, they're about to get the first level. Maybe training weapons instead of training shields was better. But let's be honest, it's probably irrelevant anyway. Uh, there are spots where one is better than the other, I'm trying to think. But I'm also trying to think where I'm not boarding with my Lanius. Like Zoltan Shield's weapon training probably better than shield training. We can go for some weapons training if we train shields before that, I guess. I mean, this is a 50-50 regardless. There is another prediction uh, going, so let's go for it. What was that? Piloting, nice. Hmm. Does YouTube upload with a stealth first sector was painful to rewatch? Yeah, it was pretty garbage. Like... I got I got clock in three, now I'm fine. Then the next ship is a beam drone ship. The very first it is going into weapons, so I had to clock that. And then the very first one after clocking, it's going into weapons again with fires. That was so bad. many bombs. That happens way too often, yes, but it's also... I feel another problem of Stealth B is, um, like, weapons have so many rooms around. So, 
if a, if a beam uh, swipe starts, even if, even if it doesn't start in weapons, it, it can very easily end there. And that's so annoying. The hole is just enough. Technically it was one, because I reached the store with two, then clocking uh, was going down. So with clocking going down it would have been one, but I repaired before even that happened. And I mean, like, Stealth B is technically fine, it's just stupid for win streaking. Because, considering it's supposed to be a challenge ship, like, if you don't care about the streak going on, it's not even that difficult to, like, to, to win with it. It's just that it's, I don't know, it's stupid. Yeah, the smart target stuff, I don't know. Because even if you're pausing the game, it's like, it's apparently a frame perfect thing. So it's not like, okay, it's obviously very, very difficult on the pause and almost random, even if you want to attempt that. But even if you're playing with pause normally without, because, okay, technically the game is made so that you should play uh, with pause. But even with that, you're not supposed to check the frames in order to do something. Like, technically the game was not really designed to be that high level, okay, you have to check the frames. Also, the oxygen stuff can be pretty stupid sometimes. Venti venting crew in that ship is bad because of the airlocks. Human sensors, apparently. Yes, but even doing that, getting the right frame, it's difficult. Like, you can technically do that even on a pause, even just using the human, depending on the enemy weapons, because depending on the enemy weapons, uh, like, the charge time after a certain point, it doesn't really matter. You're either firing the thing, or you're taking the hit there, and so it doesn't matter. It depends on the weapon setups, though. It's still stupid, I don't like it. Because... Like, okay, there are many sort of cheesy thing in this game, from the um, hacking the power trick, to the bio swipes, to the cheeky swipes. There are many sort of cheesy things. And there is a threshold of cheesy things that are actually cool gameplay and cheesy things that are, well, okay, I don't like it. And for me, that's there. Like, you, you still try to do it because it's good, but it's something that I don't like. While, for example, Bios Wipes is probably my favorite cheesy thing. Especially when you have to do it with, well, not great weapons. Like, if you do it with, like, the mini beam, in a stealth A or C after having the shields, sure. That's pretty easy. When you have to do it uh, with like a Zoltan B using the Ion Blast and the Pike, it's even more interesting. But I find the AI did them first. I mean, the AI does everything. I'm stupid, I. It's already three, that's why. I didn't notice. Give the question, you play Castrol A, first sector, first store, 68 scrap, do you buy a pike, check the single store, or just farm more scrap until you can afford docking? Um...
I don't know if I will buy Pike if I have to be honest with Kestrelay. It also depends a lot if you're skipping shields or not. If you already have shields too, maybe. Before shields too, I don't think I will do it. I don't know, I'm not sure, because I, I don't really like Pike. And you have to go for weapons 5 to play that thing. So I definitely wouldn't skip a shields 2 for a pike. After shields 2, I'm not sure. I already have shields 2. I don't know, I'm not a big pike fan. Like, obviously having a pike is better than nothing, but again, you need weapons 5, so you're probably not using that pike for, for the entire sector 2. Because the sector 2 I rather keep the scrap for... Like, hacking for me will still be better, even if you're not using it immediately, just having the system. Hey Click, will anyone ever beat the streak? Eventually, yes. Eventually people will beat everything, so... I don't know though, I think it's one of those things that doing it or not, it's not necessarily, like, you can do it, it's not a misplay or a, like, you can do it or not do it, it's kinda up to you, I don't think there is a right play in that spot, because it's one of those things that it could be best, better for you if you don't find literally anything else for a very long time. Or you might find something better way before you can even play the pike, and so the pike wasn't that great. I misclicked. Like, yeah, it depends on so many factors as well, like how many jumps before the end of the sector, what's your whole situation and stuff like that. Like if you're very far ahead, maybe buying it is perfectly fine. Even if I, not, even if I don't like it. And even if you have to wait a lot before playing it. And it's also because, like, Kester Lay, you already have two, two tier weapons. So especially for Sector 3, you're kind of fine with the basic, like with those two. You don't really need an upgrade like other ships. But yeah, I don't know, I think it's just personal preference, if you want to do it or not. Like, assuming your hull is fine, you have two shields, and you have... I mean, you have that scrap. Then, I don't know, probably buying it is fine. Because you have to take into account that if you buy that bike, you don't check the second store. And that means you can get 15 more scrap from a, another fight. On average. So usually if there is something that's good enough in one store, you should go for it and skip at the other. Like for example, if that bike was a burst laser one, I will buy it, yes. It's just that the pike itself that I'm not sure. Almost done with the training. So he's probably looking for that Pegasus. I mean, Pegasus helped me a lot in many runs. So, I can't talk shit about Pegasus. And 
Then you sell it. I mean, it did its job. Hmm. 17. Bare minimum. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I mean, this is the best bet. Right. Hmm. Nice. Did I miss something when, when I gambled? And I didn't have to? Seven bombs in all this. Missiles are often underrated. Yes, that's for sure. It's because, sure, in your ideal setup you don't want a missile, but I mean... Especially when you don't have hacking. Like, you can remove weapons and then go for shields, or just start with shields and then go for weapons. Can train this guy a little bit here. While we wait for the evasion. Let's close this. Swarm is sometimes... The problem with the swarm is that it's random. Like, the, the spread is so large. Like, it's good against the... Uh, Portile rooms. Like, even the other day that I played that fucking thing... I fired the swarm in weapons in a ship like this, and I hit uh, oxygen here and the other room that was here, and no weapons. Like, like, what the fuck? And that was firing two missiles, waiting for 10 seconds. Like, I don't like... I like Hermes as well, for example. It's 3 power, but you're firing a missile that deals 3 damage in 14 seconds. Like, you're removing, at the very least, one shield bubble and potentially two if they don't have a buffer point. And it's still 3 damage in weapons. Like, even in the Sector 3, against 5 weapon power, you're removing 3 out of 5. And that's crippling enemy weapon system often. Obviously, it's good for boarding ships. Like, as, as long as you have good, cheap weapons, like, even if you're playing stuff like heavy lasers. I played a Crystal A run once with a Hermes and just the crystal weapons for a very long time. Essentially, you act piloting, and then you use that to remove uh, shields, and then you fire the crystal weapons into weapons, and it's for damage. Like... You remove the shield bubble and offer the crystal weapons to it. Even if they keep two shields bubble, you're still dealing three damage with the crystal weapons. It was pretty nice. Not ideal, but I mean... NJ with Iron Blast 2, Chain, Iron and Hermes. I, I did some testing with uh, Iron, with um, Irons and Drones once. And uh, yes... Like, just having um, targeted damage, it doesn't matter what it is, makes ions so much better. Like, you can use ions just for shield removal, and then the drones to do actual damage, but having even a slow weapon, like a, even a missile, that's very inefficient since you're removing shields anyway. To deal targeted damage is so much better.
If we go down here. There is second store potential still uh, available. But with Hermes and Chennai, an elemental weapon has walked into the... Oh, okay, you were not full. Of course you weren't, it's 9 weapon power, but yeah. Easy vision training. <laughs> Already paying off. They switch position. That was a big mistake. Ooh. Can I get that? I'm not diving sector one. Feels bad. This guy has some weapon training. A rock. Deal damage here. NGB around once where I start their weapons, plus element in sector 7, then flagship because I should drop out there. I think my... My best, okay, best, sort of. NGA win was... Um, uh, the basic weapons, so heavy iron, heavy laser, and then iron bomb. But I had a double combat drone, uh, drone recovery. But it was pretty cool. You could totally die to the quest and be fine. Why? I can fine against the ships because I can board and kill everything with my Lanius. I don't have to care about ASBs with engines 1 and stuff. Like, you can do it and be fine 90% of the time. But you don't want to risk the 10% when win streaking. I like, can I do it? Yes. Should I? Probably not. Pretty nice. I think I'd rather have weapons than engines. At least for now. New pilot. It might become a border, so probably keeping the engine there. I'm training it in engines though, if we get an easy fight. Like this one. Make sure this fires. Okay, laser is pretty good for training. For as long as it lasts. Can't play Minesweeper though, I have to be careful. And... Remove the basic as soon as it comes back. I should always remove the basic, right? Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah, getting the right timing for that, it's a problem.
Oh god. Motherboard and shutter system for the XP. If I do that, I destroy the ship earlier and then I don't get the training in engines. So no. Like if I knew, like maybe I could do that on piloting. I mean on engines, because it's unlikely for it to be level 1. But it, technically it can be level 1. So if I was sure those two were at least level 2, I could do it. Also I don't value this training that much anyway. Like, I'm getting kills with mind control and with r by removing oxygen, not really with these guys. I could technically do this to be more efficient. Easy. Want to keep this chain laser up if we can. Two shots every seven seconds instead of one every nine. Pretty stupid, but uh, it's more efficient. I mean, as long as you can keep doing this, then I can do this as well. Just fuck it. Let's start getting this training then. to go down okay almost level one perfect I still don't know if I'm win streaking FTL or my patience doing this though hard to tell I think they're dropping, yeah. It was a shit timing this time. I think I reset. Uh, I, I didn't keep the progress. Uh, it's fine. As long as we don't take damage, this is fine. I have to be careful now. Now deal the damage, perfect. We want to wait until this fire so they keep this up.
Let's start. I don't think it will be closer to firing before. Never mind, that's another misplay. I just had to let this fucking thing fire. Hmm, that's fine. Alice is still training, even against the basic. I couldn't do it here because the timing was too close. Just eight. Now I shall be fine. Thank God. Spin, please. I have to wait until the thing fires. I knew it was a shit fucking timing. All this for the stupid training, it's fine. I, 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 I. Yeah, I don't know, that's just a mistake though. Fuck it, if, if, it, if they keep the basic online, it's fine. But I shouldn't take damage for, for this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I'm not taking more damage because of that. If they keep the basic because that's the timing, too bad. Because you reach a point where, okay, you wait for this thing to fire, but it was very close to this firing and then it's three shots. It's, you just can't. It went well the first time, but yeah, now it's just not working. It's okay. If it happens, it happens. Otherwise, too bad. Maybe you can just get a better timing just doing this and whatever. Yeah, because he fires now. Yeah, they're both fully trained. So once we finish this guy, we get them back and we kill the, the ship with the flock. Almost. They will drop the chain laser, unfortunately, but it's fine. 
Oh, this is so painful, but it's fine. It's for the greater good. Per sector longer than the rest of the run. I mean, hey, it's normal. At least it's not a three hours sector one, like that NGB. I'm kinda sad that my recent NGB runs, I had no opportunities to go for bio kills. It was just, you either get a better weapon immediately, or the sector is so shit that you can train and you can go for bio kills anyway. I mean, if you get a weapon immediately, I mean, fuck it, I'm fine with it. But it's just that, I don't know. I actually enjoy bio killing with NGB. It's annoying because you have to weapon train first and it's still slow, but I, I feel like it's sort of interesting. In a masochistic kind of way, but it's sort of interesting. Hey, Exu Surgeon. Nice. Two more. I have to go for Krikidus and NGB. Only on oxygen level 1 or you just go for the heavy, heavy laser into oxygen and hope for breaches fire. I mean that works as well, it's just less consistent. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you do that if, if it's level 2. But if it's level 1 I think it's pretty reliable, you just have to fully weapon train. But besides that it's, pretty, it's fine. Not bad. Yeah, not 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 bad. You can scrap for early next sector in case there is a store, even if I should technically have raided engines. I don't care if they take damage. I want to make sure that's going down. This guy should have been there, but it's okay. Wait, he didn't die. Okay. It's always the... I think this is scripted. It's always my fucking Colombe. At least no one was dead. I mean, if someone was learning, you'd never take, you'd never risk that. Rebel or Angie? Rebel is so much. I'm going Rebels. Even, like, I have a lot of scrubs, so NG was fine, but Rebel it's so good for Lanius. Ooh, this exit is so early. Can they do it? Nice. Okay, no stores there. Keep exploring Nebula, go down, then back up. Actually, I have to do something else.
Please lock them be like that. That'll be good enough. That timing. So they're going now first, otherwise I have no connection to go down. Okay, let's wait. I can do this actually. They think I can bio kill them with a flak? Like Rock and G Columbe. This distress beacon will be bypass. That's okay. Ooh, that guy is pretty annoying. Why so many drones? This is actually a very annoying fight. I want to clone this guys, but I have to be careful and wait, now I can do it. I, I could have bio killed the thing anyway, but I mean... Since the repair drone, anti-personnel, med bay, and a small bomb that can be very annoying. Is oxygen. Okay, we got a store. We can take a few beacons first. What are we looking for? A king, better weapons or bombs? I just wore it here. Where should I send my guys and engines instead of keeping me in weapons? Since I mean, firing the flock is not doing anything anyway. 
Yes, I should have switched this position immediately. Wait, so I get the training. That's insane for the advanced luck. Wait, even repairs? Oh, repair arm, that's why. I, I didn't... I forgot about my repair arm. I was so fucking confused by those repairs. Three hundred scrap, casually. Sector two. Not bad. Plenty of B things. Don't mind this. Exit to close, yeah, horrible sector too. Imagine going NG sector when you can get this rebel sector. Yeah, exactly. About that. Was next sector as well. We didn't get fucked getting it here. Also, look at this. Jesus. The fuck. I'd rather take the damage than waste the drone part. why yay another weapon another engine obviously I really have to train someone else in engines instead of the rock Another rebel sector, sure. Also more options for the next sector. The rebel sectors are good for uh, this ship because we have double Lanius boarding, so the other ships are not a problem. Even doing this in case they have dangerous weapons. The quest is good, we go through the nebula first. Actually...
This Naya doesn't have a good room for. Uh... How do we do this? Without taking too much damage with my Laniuses. Probably like this. A store. Uh, not needed. Some of the rewards for the next run. I shawled. Jesus. They will have a buffer point, unfortunately. Unless we know about that now, but it's okay. I mean... Okay, I guess we have more. Flak triple heavy. Maybe we get a flak one and then we play double flak triple heavy. Why do you prefer having someone running doors over shields? Because if you get boarded, you have upgraded doors and you can vent to the borders. And you don't need to man shields immediately. You can man shields later if, the, if you're not getting boarded. That's a very common... Um, I think that's one of the most asked questions. Why manning doors and not shields? And I mean, if you're kind of new to the game, it will make way more sense to man shields instead of doors when it's actually the opposite. Because I'm pretty sure, like, if you take, like, a thousand people that uh, they don't know much about the game, I think everyone will put the guy in shields rather than, uh, than doors. Yeah, it, it's just way better for borders. And then if you're not getting borders, you can move the guys in the doors to shields anyway. Maybe we should make a command for for the doors. I'm actually hacking here. So they say shields up, not man the doors, because they're not getting boarded. Necro's the shield command, oh really? We got it back. Favorite ship, NGA. I have eight drone parts, but I don't care. Astral B. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like Astral B that much. It feels, yes, too basic. Have I just David a secondary age reward? Ah, this one. This one was pretty average. 
Might as well restart. Nothing is as boring as Federation A though. What about Kestrel B with no weapons changes or new system? But then you die. Besides upgrading existing systems. Yeah, you cannot deal damage against four shields. You can't beat the flagship. You're dead. Castro will be without upgrades. You need either new weapons or hacking. Hey, King. Or teleporter. Sure. Still an additional system. It's both a new weapon and a new system. One additional system then, then it's fine. Jesus Christ this run. I mean it was that quest so we knew that was coming but... Still. Variably hacking. That or teleporter. You could go teleporter and uh, use the basic lasers just to for killing blows and stuff, and you skip uh, anything else. No that can does even if I may take damage. This door exit. We don't want the quest because we could get the quest in a, like here and then we can't go there anyway. Like unless you're pretty sure you can go to that quest. It's almost always better to take the cargo. Like sometimes taking the cargo is better anyway. Because if it's nothing you'll get the quest regardless. What do we want? Battery shields, teleporter hub, and then... I don't even know. Actually, you stay here. More weapons. Abandoned orange.
Need more scrap? Exactly. Give me the scrap. So many weapons this round, it's so stupid. Made a mistake there. I'm bad. I was supposed to vent the guy in time, but I didn't. Yep, this was an insane uh, run. Every sector was good. Just skip NG sectors, and then the run is good. That's... Like we got a... I mean, Sector 2 was Rebel, Sector 3 was Rebel, now Abandoned. Those are all very high-value sector. As long as you can deal with them, and we can with the with the ship, because we are... Can you Auto ships are good for us, so we can just farm scrap. You know what? Nice. What do we even want from stores? Scrap, I guess, since we're full. We take one more fight first. Sure. I will go for it.
Such a waste. But maybe I'll do it. For Lanius warding. No, nah, it's just a meme. It's 100 scrap that I could use somewhere else. Even if I have a lot of scrap this round, there is no point in doing that. I could just have great shields, engines and stuff. Especially since we are going weapons. So upgrading both weapons and my defenses is gonna be expensive. I'm even considering the shield recharge booster. Because of no... Uh, for phase 2, in case phase 2 is bad. I'm I'm getting that. No memes. Am I keeping the charge laser? I don't know, I really like that small bomb. I can keep it for now, then we decide if we want to sell it or not. A fire beam. Why are Lanius using fire beams? I mean, probably that's why they gave it to me. They don't want it. They think it's useless. Okay, I think it's actually firing. Someone in shields. What else do I want? Just just to make it make it less annoying. This is fine. What sector? This is sector four. Jesus. I mean, we had the uh, high value sectors. It was double rebel into abandoned. Don't destroy this. 
Map update. Fantastic. We can take damage. And it's double Zoltan. Let's make them pop. Well, yeah, and this keeps happening. Free AV2, free AV, free flock. When I will be happy with just the small bomb, and instead I got all this. Oh, I had free the stuff. It was a free hole laser as well. Sure. Actually, I can play it right away. Let's wait. I need 90. Another rebel sector. Listing all that. I'll just say free stuff. That's how. I didn't realize they had two shields. I think they. Whatever. <laughs> Small for block and chain. Why chain? Charge laser, but I mean that weapon is still garbage compared to all these things. We just wait into this. Yeah, don't mind the weapons. This is totally normal. A for hour. I put it there because I have no space in the normal ones. Just to show off the new abomination. There we go. It's so horrible. Shiro emotes. Do you have actual emotes from the cheer stuff or it just shows on the side? Because if it's the one that shows on the side, it's very small. Oh, 
1k bits. I mean, that's a lot as well. I should have boarded here. I should have acted here and boarded the uh, piloting, by the way. That was just a mistake. I, I can move it to tier 1 if you guys want. But what do I remove? Another follow with any mod. I keep forgetting that I have a second flock now, by the way. Good. Nebula Beacon can still be something. Where is it going? Okay, I don't care. What the fuck is this? Well, we know what's happening next, Ron. This is, yes, this has to be one of the most ridiculous run I've ever had. Oh, you're playing the best ship in the game. Here is more stuff. Why don't I get a free pre igniter when I'm playing Stealth B? You do it tomorrow? I mean, I don't know. I can't even sell the stuff. I do, I don't know. Do the follow, green boy.
Sure. Yeah, they was playing Mantis C and got one ready to scrap worth of stuff on the first jump. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. I mean, Praying Nighter is not that valuable with Mantis. Actually, I mean, for the stump, for the lockdown bomb, it's pretty fucking good. It, it, it can actually be very good for Mantis C as well. And even if you don't want it later, it's still 60 scrap. Come on. No free stuff before the store. Really? I don't even remember that quest. I fire the other one in a... It'll be in the other way around. It won't charge. So many. But I can't hold all those weapons. It was right before the store. By sensors, it's hacking bait. Sure. We low roll that quest. The power bar is the less valuable option.
Nope. One of your best runs ever. Probably, yes. No bypass though. Bypass is better than almost everything I got. No homeworld? Why? Should I go there? Really, I can't afford it. For the memes. I mean, Zoltan ships can meme on you very, very quickly. I mean, to be fair, we're fine there, but Pirate Sector is also more scrap on average than uh, Zoltan's. Try to roll one NG with weapon training and stuff. That's the wrong training. Another possible bypass. That's the wrong training. Okay, wait a bit for the teleporter. It will be enough. We can get a uh, rock blue option for augmentations here before checking the store. Or justify it. them around let's see another pre-igniter scanners I need more power bars. Well, 
by Zoltans. I refuse to buy Zoltans. But I can get them for free. Fully training fighting. Fantastic. This run is so ridiculous. Still be next, probably. Really? You know what? Who needs Zaking? Well... I guess I have too much damage. I'll rename after this one as soon as I get a safe spot. Be careful. I think that's too much. I'm not removing the rocks or the engines. Now nah, this is too much. Fuck you. Hierarchy record. Uh, no, I think it's. I have the 16. Maybe we are not close to that. I mean, it's a pirate sector, let's be honest. It's normal to get crew. Oh, rename. Yes. Missing the good burst laser. They're missing more than that now. Mantis Homeworld. All red. 
That's why we have a lot of scrap. Just go to red sectors. Time for Kazakh. Obviously. How oh, can we miss Kazakh in this run? It's impossible. It will be this one, so we get the quest immediately. Easy Kazakh. It's not Kazakh. Welcome. Well, welcome as well. Say the position. I'm the rebel now. That's the third of the pre igniter. That's the fourth reigniter. I just want bypass. When you only want bypass and you find literally everything but bypass. Needs bypass. I do. You always need bypass. Oh god, is that fucking thing going down? Fuck. Almost, yeah. Not like it matters, but... Is this Kazakh? Yes. I don't think we're getting the quest. Also, um, wait, there is, oh my god. Am 
My shots and shields were obviously a mistake. I thought this was what that was weapons. But I don't tell anyone. We actually got the quest. Not even close. Need more Zoltans. I think Mantis shall give power bars. Right? Hey, Grave. Nearby sun. I think I can destroy the sun with those weapons. Let's see. Need buffers. Do we just donate? Uh, well, like, we are full. Let's donate stuff. Oh no. Handle a dive. Oh no, can I? Oh no. Like, it's because essentially, if you end the run with a lot of stuff, the rest of the sectors have nothing. If you give away your resources, when you go back there with other ships, they will have more stuff for you. That's how it works. Maybe bypass. 
Maybe more shield recharge boosters. Let me check first. Okay, fight here. So we go like this. No bypass this run. Heals bad. Rumbler, sure recharge booster is better since we don't have um locking in case we get a very bad drone swarm. Phase two. That's fine, we're cloning them anyway. Your turn. Oh, it doesn't come because... right. Another weapon. Finally a weapon. Train shields. Come here and die. The others are fine. Okay. Kazakh. Yeah, I don't know, we don't have bypass. Gonna be a problem. And the act sensors.
Yeah, so we're maxed. Close the door. Like, this is one of the most ridiculous runs I had. I don't know, I don't remember, obviously, all my runs in... since I started playing the game, but I will guess this is in the top 5 anyway. It's more probably even better than this. Yes, we are not really... Like, as stupid as this run is... We are not on the... We are not at 78... 100 score. But quality-wise... Between, like, I got... Free Flak, free Heavy, free Heavy 2. Like, all those weapons were free. And the free Igniter. That's just stupid. I can come back. Like, Score-wise is not that high, but quality-wise it's just stupid. A training shield? We train shields for my guy. How long for this? You know what? I refuse. Like it's level one, and we have two shield recharge boosters. I think we're fine. Sixty nine scrap as well. Let's go. Yeah, I should charge booster. Ah, they're fine. Nice. Please. Oh my god. Division taking damage, you always take damage here if you don't have clocking or bypass. That's why, as stupid as this is, technically, bypass a small boom would have been way better than this. Score guesses. Sure, your guys can go for it. I'll leave this thing for a bit while I update everything. You can follow Paddle Hubble. Score. 
So 116 uh let me use B. And let's update here as well. So Lanius B win eight misplays, normal run. Oh I can't update it until I well, I mean I can do everything else for now, then I'll do the last part. Two, two mantis, one rock. He should have two angels. Dalton, Bolanius. Weapons, advanced flak, flak, heavy two, and heavy. No drones, augmentations. Um, Reigniter, two shield recharge boosters, and then I mean, I had the uh, scanners for a bit actually, for the entire run. Paladin 3, sensors 3, doors 3, battery 2, shields 8, engines 8, plumbay 3, oxygen 3, uh, teleporter 3. Knocking tree. I'm missing something. Ah, probably not. Three stuff and scrap everywhere. Delicious. Time to see. Not even 7k. Yeah, if you really want to push a score, you, you can just get the 7k normally. I think you have to push it very hard. It was just an insane run, but most of the stuff was free. And... Um, I think we dived once for one beacon, so... I type in rename ship. Wait, really? And I never noticed. Let me see. All right. There we go. We actually got the most required, we reached 17. The previous one was 16. 